What's going on guys? Welcome and welcome back to Dan Reacts. I'm Dan, this is my reaction channel. We are back for another episode of The Mandalorian, actually two episodes of The Mandalorian. Obviously I'm a week behind for episode two. Um, I was on vacation last week and I wasn't going to watch it on vacation, so I decided to wait and just do two and three together. Episode one was was great. I, I loved it. It was a fantastic first episode. You know, they brought you back with Mando. They brought you back, back with Grogu. You know, they even gave you a little bit of kind of every other character that we know and love. Um, you know, kind of giving them their little moments. And now seeing that he's about to potentially going to be flying to Mandalore and going in those caverns is just super exciting. I, like, can't wait to see that shit live action. And I'm hoping that we get you know some more crazy cool star wars easter eggs from like the clone wars you know tv series so i'm very excited for this i can't wait to get into it um and we have two episodes to do right now so lucky us so yeah let's not waste any more time let's get right into it the mandalorian season three episode two oh so good to see you Oh my god. Lucky for you, business is slow. I gotta order the parts from the mid rim. Her character is perfect, you know, because I feel like her character could very easily be a joke or just too silly. But this actress plays her so well that, you know, bringing her back every season has just kind of been a joy because she's become such a staple of the show and her character works. Whereas I feel like it could have easily not worked. Go, 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 go! Put those parts back on the speeder. The painters, they look different. Here you go. Her scenes also bring a, like a nice innocence to them, which, you know, is nice in Star Wars. Brings you back to like when you were young. Yeah, <laughs> there he is. Dang it. Was that his first word? I think he's talking to me. I'm looking for a replacement IG memory circuit. Oh, hey, Grandpa. They haven't made those for a while. Oh, yeah, I forgot he's trying to rebuild IG. Oh. I think you should buy this beauty here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a droid that can explore ahead of me and test the atmosphere. Make sure it's safe to breathe. Okay. He's like, no, 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 no. That's not me. That's not me. Oh, you gotta shine. Yeah, that thing's gonna break. It's falling apart. No, literally, it's falling apart. Oh, come on now. Don't be a coward. You're an astromech. Act like one. Did we just pick up another friend? That was a beautiful uh, shot of Tatooine right there. I loved that. It looks scary. I know. Oh. Every Mandalorian can trace their roots back to this planet and the Beskar mines deep within. I grew up there. On that moon. Concordia. The way he's so perfect with Grogu now, like... Just such a dad. Oh, wow. Looks like the fusion bombs from the purge disrupted the magnetic field around the planet. So we have to be careful. Yeah, that's not going to be good. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The atmosphere. He's like, uh-uh, uh, no thank you. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Don't be a baby. Dude, Pedro in this show is the best. All he does is just like interact with things that aren't real. I'll pressurize my helmet. Seal yourself in your pod. Be right back. Oh my god. Look at that sky. 
It's honestly beautiful. Don't worry, kid. I'll be right back. Oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so freaking adorable. Oh my god. These things are fucking terrifying. <laughs> Bye. Oh, they knocked him over. Okay. You're all right. That was terrifying, that jump scare. Got an analysis on the atmosphere yet? The charts were wrong. The atmosphere is breathable. Mandalore is not cursed. Okay. Center. Grogu's a little too close to that edge for my comfort. Oh, okay. Well, we're fine. Should have known. The mines should be further down. I guess we're on our own from here. Ooh. Look. That passage heads down. They're getting real deep right now. Oh my god, how haunting. Oh, Grogu! Oh my god. Oh, Grogu, we gotta save the day, buddy boy. Alright, Mando, we gotta wake up. We are in a robot bug. We need to get up. Ew. Grogu, we need to uh, kill that thing. Time to commit your first murder. The good news is, is it seems like there's only one. Run, run, run. Oh, nice. Oh my god, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> Dude, this episode's scary! Oh my god. Fucking adorable. I feel like... By watching this right now, that there's probably a lot of people that didn't like this or like were annoyed by this. I love it. I think it's so fun and so adorable. It's okay if Star Wars feels young. It's not a bad thing. An unscheduled visitor. Dude, Grogu really is like fully capable now. It's awesome. Get rid of him once and for all. Maybe I didn't make myself clear the last time. <laughs> oh. 
What happened to him? Oh my god. Oh my god. I love that Grogu just did this. I love that she's coming to help. I love that she gets to play Bo-Katan in live action. I love everything about this. Didn't always look like this. What a treat for her to get to play Bo-Katan in both, you know, voice and live action. Like... I'm gonna need you to guide me, Tim. Can you do that? And how crazy for her to be back here. Like, oh my god. I'm just waiting for something to jump out. Let's go. How devastating that would be to revisit it. I know that you're frightened. But I need you to guide me to him. Okay, this is where we got fucking taken. I knew quite a few Jedi, you know. I don't know what they taught you about us, but there was a time we actually got along quite well. Oh god, oh god. Oh, oh! Is it taking his blood? <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Die, disgusting thing. Oh, come on, bo -Katan. Grab the dark saber. Oh, shit. No. No. Oh god, it's still fucking alive. Oh no, you gotta kill the head. Oh! Behind you. This is the final boss. No, you need to stab the eyeball. Is he? No, he's okay. I saved your life. Thank God. Your kid. He's tougher than he looks. No, so tough. So tough. You should rest. I'll get you back to my ship soon enough. I'm not going with you. I must continue to the mines of Mandalore. I need to bathe. I need to bathe in the water. There's nothing magic about the waters. Without the creed, what are we? You rescued me. But I can't go with you until I fulfill my obligation. I will take you. To the living waters? Yes. Yay! Don't get me wrong, I love Mando and Grogu, like, together alone on the journey, but I'm happy to have some friends. Here you go. The living waters. These mines date back to the age of the first Mandalore. Oh my god. Din, are you alright? Oh god, are we taking off the armor? I swear on my name. Oh, they bathed with the armor on. That I shall walk the way of the Mandalore in my heart. I knew, I had a feeling something like that was going to happen. Dude, he fully just sunk. 
Oh god, is she gonna have enough fucking power in her jetpack? Oh my god. Get out of there. That's twice she saved your life. Oh my god. What an ending. Holy shit. That was an incredible episode. It felt, first of all, it felt so long. It felt like we got so much in it. I loved getting to see kind of Grogu come into his own, save the day. He did so much. He like killed those things. I forget what they're called. He like flew the plane. He like came and got Bo-Katan. Bo-Katan rescued Mando. Like that was such an incredible sequence to see. Like, because for the last like two seasons plus the Book of Boba Fett, we very much have seen Grogu as like, a young baby kid who like has to be protected at all costs and like saved and it's so nice to see him like finally capable and like able to like defend himself in ways that was awesome it was also so incredible seeing mandalore but also freaking terrifying everything going on there i we should have known that a place that was like uninhabited by human life it was going to be over inhabited by other types of life but god that was uh, that was pretty chilling bo -Katan saved him twice in this episode so he's gonna really owe her um and also i feel like i could be missing something let me know in the comments if i am i'm obviously gonna watch the next episode right 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 now but like i feel like when she saw that thing she like realized something or like noticed something and i don't know what it was so only time will tell. That was incredible, though. Uh, let's just get right into the next episode. The Mandalorian, Season 3, Episode 3. Right where we left off. You bathed in the living waters. You are Mandalorian again. Can we leave now? Literally. Can we leave now? You see anything down there? Like what? Nothing. Let's get out of here. What did she see and what am I missing? Because there was definitely something alive in there. You definitely saw correctly. I would invite you in for a feast, but I'm guessing that helmet isn't coming off again. This is the way. This is the way. I mean, at least now you know, though, that if you do take it off again, you can go just take a little dip in that pool again and then leave. How close are we to Kalabara? Wait, what? Get us back there and they'll reinforce from the N1. Can you evade them? Our shields aren't gonna hold. Who are they getting attacked by? Oh, God. Just leading them right to her fucking castle. Are you still up for the transfer? Oh my god. <sighs> Fucking insane. That was a badass maneuver. <laughs> badass. Of course, it's been a while. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. No pressure. Oh, my God. Not bad for an antique. You take any damage? That's the Naboo Starfighter, okay? Let's take him in, just to be sure. Nice shooting. I love this little team. I, I hope they stay together. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bo-Katan saved Din's life. Twice, and now all this bad shit's happening to her. You have to get out of there. 
There's too many of them. Oh my god. Then you really owe Bo-Katan, because she kind of gave up a lot just now to come save your ass. Oh, shut up! Oh my god! Oh! The chills! Oh my god! This is like the arena! Oh wow, the Star Wars Easter eggs, man! But now the New Republic has given us a second chance. So thank you. Oh god. Not this fucking guy. Though that work is now behind me and I regret what I did, I assure you that my original intentions were good. Uh huh. When I was young, I lost my mother. I vow to make it my life's work to help others avoid such needless loss. What my work explored was the hopes of combining multiple strands to create replicas. This is messy. This seems like such a messy thing. Things like that sound pretty on paper, but there's no way it's going to actually work out that way. It's too messy. You can't play God. Congratulations on making it into the program. Thank you. Have you been in Coruscant long? That thing is terrifying. Here we are, Amnesty Housing. Please watch your step as you exit the vehicle. <laughs> hey, join us for a drink. Mm. I didn't expect to see anyone from Moff Gideon's ship here. I heard they hooked him up to a mine flare. Oh god, the rumor mill. Oh, uh, when is he coming back? Here, want some milky water? Long live the New Republic. Republic. Have a seat, Doctor. I mean, these people seem nice enough, but, uh... My guard's up. Have you taken in the sights on Curacao, Doctor? No. I'd be happy to show you around when you do. Oh god, this pairing is gonna be dangerous. What do you miss, L-52? Miss? From before. I guess... Maybe those, uh, travel biscuits from the Russian guys. <laughs> You know, again, this is one of those great things about the Star Wars series where they, you know, beautifully take a group of people that you are accustomed to hating in this universe and humanizing them and bringing life to them. And I'm not mad at that. I like that. You know, these people don't necessarily work for the right side, but they're just people. That's not good. When people ring your doorbell and then you open it and no one's there? Excuse me? So many questions. Who sent that? How did they hear them? And how did they access it? I thought you couldn't get those things anymore. So many people. It's all a bit overwhelming. I want an open world video game that's like directly takes place in Coruscant. The closest thing we've ever gotten is Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, and the only thing that sucks about Coruscant in that game is there's no day-night cycle, so you can't like fully immerse. Following orders blindly is how we got in trouble in the first place. Lots of capable people who want to help. You understand what I'm saying? I understand that I don't quite know how I feel about you guys yet. That is the peak of Umate, the highest mountain on Coruscant. Oh wow, so Coruscant, I mean it makes sense, but it was like built around mountains and you never think about that, but that's interesting.
I really hope she's being genuine with him and not setting him up. Please refrain from physical uh, contact. So with sorry. Uh, okay, but that's sweet. That's sweet. As long as she's setting him up in like a fun friend way. Again, I have a feeling by watching this that there might be some people in this world that are not happy with this storyline and these people, but I'm loving it. I don't think new in Star Wars is a bad thing. We were talking about the other day. My research. Sounds like you want to continue it. I mean, how? It's not a good idea, but it's prohibited. You want to help the New Republic. They just can't see it yet. Oh my god. I don't know how I feel about these two. I like them, but I'm also like... I don't know that they're going to be doing good things. If they found out, we'd both be sent back to the Reintegration Institute. You're right. Too much risk. I've done a lot of things I'm ashamed of. But if your research really is as important as you say, I'll take that risk. Oh my god. Why do I love these characters, man? Just, uh... Just sleep on it. You know who that actor would be really good as, now that I'm looking at them right now? Abby. In The Last of Us 2. If you know, you know. I think they would be a really good Abby. And it's not even her physique. It's like the way that they are delivering lines. Let's go get it. No! <laughs> okay. the right thing to do how long is this gonna take also like is this like a one night job Lex just follow my lead it's gonna be fine remember why we're doing this I wonder what percentage of these sets were real for them probably none but you know they look awesome You guys, be so careful. Anybody could see that. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. Keeping it together. Tongs days, am I right? Imperial ships all have mobile lab stations, right? But they're imperial. Oh, not anymore. Have you done this before? It seems like it. Oh, she got the biscuits. I mean, that makes sense. And that's how she got them. Are they expired? Oh, God. That fall would be a terrible fall. Nice, Doc. Thank you. Oh, God, guys. You are not sneaky. The faster you guys start walking, the sketchier you look. Just throwing that out there. Oh, it's the end of the line, guys. Are they gonna jump? We're gonna jump! Oh my god! What are they jumping on? Now. Now. Oh my god. So she's definitely done this before. You crazy fucks. Ooh, wow. Haunting.
Something tells me that shit's not gonna be empty. Never done anything like this before. I feel like he likes it. I feel like he likes being bad. Not that he's being bad, but like, you know. This is scary. This is scary. You have no idea what's been in this. All this time. I must have passed you on Gideon's ship a hundred times. I have. Uh, you don't have to apologize. That's not how things were back then. I actually feel like you guys shouldn't be, to be doing any bonding right now because we don't know that we're alone. Here it is. I mean, so happy for you guys. You're great friends. Don't get into trouble or die. Because I actually like you. Is everything you need here? This is perfect. Only take what I need. It's all going to the scrap heap. How are you going to casually just like walk out and like back onto the train with that big old box? You always knew what you wanted to do. As far back as I can remember. What about you? I didn't really have a chance to think about it. Could have seen that. That box is so sketchy looking. How are you going to walk through town with that? Oh. Stop! Great. What? 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 Raise your hands up. I knew it was a setup. I knew it. I knew it was a fucking setup. Oh my god. Good morning, doctor. Listen, I can explain. I wasn't trying. No need. What did she tell you? We understand that the adjustment can be difficult. No, no, no. I, I think there's been a mistake. What is going on right now? Oh my god. Wait, uh, this is a mind flare. This is a 602 mitigator. It's a mind flare. That's a similar device. Oh my god. Huh. And experience a great huh. sense of relief in no time at all. You're gonna wipe my mind. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh my god, that is terrifying. This poor man. I mean, ugh, conflicting feelings. She sent me up. Please. Why? Why did you set him up? What is her MO? You've done the right thing. Thanks. They should offer him some relief. Oh, God. This is... Fr oh, my God. Do you mind if I stay? You fucking bitch. Yes, you're welcome to stay. Is she just twisted or does she have an even bigger plan up her sleeve? Oh my god. Like, why? Why? Oh, hey, guys. Forgot about you. It's a secret location, and you are my guest. They still live by the old ways. Yes. He's going to a safe place, a.k.a. also going to the place where he needs to prove that he can be a Mandalorian again. Come no further. You are an apostate. No longer. It would honestly be such a crazy life to, like, have to wear that armor and helmet all day, every day, can never take it off. He speaks the truth. I was witness. And who are you? I am bo of Clan Krees. We have been to the Living Waters. 
And she bathed too. So. I bring proof. We shall see. What if the water was like evaporated? In the tube? Wasn't actually there? Jinjarin claims to have bathed in the living waters. Is this true? Yeah. I feel like it's not going to be in there. Oh, okay. He speaks the truth. Dinjarin, you are redeemed. This is the way. This is the way. Yeah. And Bo-Katan Kreese, you too are redeemed. Yeah. You may leave any time you wish. Until then, you are one of us. This is the way. Oh my god. Mm. Now the question is, is she going to like live in that? Is that going to mean anything to her? Or is it just going to be like words... And it's not going to mean anything. I don't know. But that was incredible. Holy shit. That was by far the best episode of the season yet. I loved, you know, we got enough, just enough Mando and Bo-Katan and Grogu to kind of fill the soul. While also giving us this incredible other story about this poor guy. Like, I, I, I do feel bad for him for getting set up by her. I knew the friendship felt too good to be true. And, like, for her to be with Moff Gideon, like... I felt like she had some bad intentions and they really came out. I don't even know what she did to him at the end of that. Like she turned that thing all the way up. Did she like completely destroy his brain? I don't know. That was an incredible episode though. That was an incredible two episodes. I loved it. Um, no notes. So good. So good. I, uh, I'm so excited for Wednesday. Can't wait to see how this stuff plays out. Can't wait to see like what that poor doctor, what happens to him. Like, I don't even know. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my reactions to episode two and three. If you did hit a like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date. We're chugging along this Mandalorian journey as well as the last of us with Addy and Lord of the Rings with Addy and Marvel with Davin about to release, you know, Sicario not too long from now with Davin. So a lot of great stuff to look forward to. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.